<laughs> How is everyone? You happy? You won't be soon. I'm the most miserable man in England. <laughs> Only joking. Seven things you need to know before you speak about gypsies, because there are some people out there who give us a bad rap. And to make things easy and slightly cheesy, I'm going to make each point start with a word that spells gypsies. Acrostics, just like poetry in school. How about that? First thing you need to know, gypsies are a global community. We're spread out all over the world, mostly in Europe, the Americas, and Australasia. There are over a million Romani people in Romania, but Romani and Romania are etymologically separate words. The word Romani comes from an old Indian word, Rom, which means a man or a person. Romania, Romaneste, as some of you will know, is the same root as the Roman Empire. But there happen to be loads of Romanis in Romania. Confusing, isn't it? There are also a million in Brazil. We'll come to that shortly. The second word is youth. G-Y, youth. We are a really young community, and that's largely because there's a lot of poverty. We've got some serious issues as a community worldwide. Many, many gypsies live in below the poverty line, particularly in Eastern Europe. Um, I'll explain a little bit about why that is in a sec. Uh, but gypsy people regard children as a gift, as the main wealth that we have as humanity, and tend to have really big families. So let's hope I get rich quick soon, because I don't have any children yet. But, and second to that comes the point that, I don't know if any of you have read recently in the news reports about gypsy stealing children in Greece and Ireland, there isn't a single documented case in history of Romani people stealing non-Romani children. It's a completely pernicious myth. Uh, and generally speaking, we've got enough of them already as it is. G-Y-P. P stands for poraimos, a word which most of you won't have heard, but that's the Romani word for devouring, and that's how we refer to Romani suffering in the Second World War. And I specifically say during the Second World War, not just under the Nazis, because like Jewish people and other minority groups, uh, Romani people were murdered all over Europe, from the bottom of Italy to the foothills of the Pyrenees and way up into Russia by mass execution. Um, between 200,000 and one and a half million gypsies were killed during the Second World War. But there's some good news. We survived. Four is S, G-Y-P-S. S is for slavery. Not many people know that Romani people were slaves in large parts of Romania and other pockets of Eastern Europe for over 400 years. In the same way that African-American people were slaves in the southern United States. Very similar system and ideologically connected. So as late as the time of Charles Dickens, gypsies were for sale on open markets in Romania alongside pigs, chickens and other livestock. And that's partly the reason why there's such a stratification in Eastern European society today. Not always an excuse for finding it difficult to integrate, but sometimes it explains a little bit. G-Y-P-S-I. I stands for India. Uh, there are lots of people who've been referred to as gypsies through history, including Yanish people in, in Switzerland and Germany, Irish travellers. Uh, but most people who've been referred to as gypsies are, are Romani people. And our language comes from India, northwestern India specifically. Uh, there are two phrases it might be useful to know in the Romani language. One is Lacho Dives, which means good day. And the second one is Teves Bactalo, which means be lucky. That's our traditional greeting. It's Teves Bactali if you're talking to a lady. Uh, the I could also stand for Ireland. If you're an Irish traveller, your language comes from Ireland. Uh, the Kant language, a very old uh, Celtic language originally that was referred to by scholars as the fourth Celtic tongue. I.E. E is for England. We're a global community, but there are hundreds of thousands of us in England, and we've been here for a very long time, since 1514 at the latest. 
which is exactly 500 years ago this year, how about that? Uh, the first place in the world where the Romani language was documented as being spoken was in West Sussex in an alehouse, which makes me feel good for some reason. England, S, G-Y-P-S-I-E-S. I was a bit indecisive about what to do for the final S. I thought about survival and different things, but I think sharing is the word I'd use. Romani people traditionally didn't really have very much, tended to be quite poor, nomadic people. They had to travel light, theme of this year's festival. They tended to drink tea out of little sugar bowls because sugar bowls don't have handles, so they're easier to stack and pack away in your backpack. The reason I've chosen sharing is because if you ever find yourself in the company of gypsies or of any nomadic people around the world, sharing food and drink is incredibly important. And in fact, if you turn it down, it will be taken as an insult. So even if you're hungry, uh, if you're not hungry, sorry, if you're not thirsty, you've got to make the effort to sneak a little bit of tea inside just to make people know that you think that they're clean and worthy of your respect. That's been very short, some would say too short, but I hope I've taught you just a couple of things that might be of use to you if you ever come to encounter or speak about gypsies and travellers. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>